Hi everybody. Welcome to Max Crank Up uh, Video Mode. Uh, your ge your genius director of photography and cinematographer, me, cannot remember that you just don't point the damn camera into a big backlit. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're finishing up adding the Forest of Thames to the sub panel, and at the end I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, it's really cool. This is the grounding block for all of the avionics and a few other things. Uh, I basically, let's see, I've got 32 positions that I can ground stuff to. You would think that that would be enough. Yeah, it's going to be tight. I mean, there's, there's, there's 15 pieces just of the avionics alone. Right, that half, half of that. Uh, plus, you know, I'm, I'm actually, what I am going to do is I'm going to get a separate grounding block for the high current stuff. Right, a little, a little beefier. So, like, the landing light, I mean, the thing is, I really don't have that many, quote unquote, you know, high current, high drawing things. Uh, pedo, pedo heat's the, the biggest one, period. Pedo, pedo heat is above everything. That's the only one with, like, a 20 amp breaker. I think I think the coil packs for the ignitions that's 15 amps or no there's two of those there's 10 amps a piece sorry um, seat heaters are 10 amps USB chargers are 10 amps yeah but so I'm gonna keep all the big high current stuff when, if you call that high current uh, on a separate on a separate block so it's not really that difficult again this is one of those things where it you know you're making it your own right uh, there's no plans anywhere that says, hey, this is where you put a grounding block. Uh, so the reason I chose the location, you know, I'm just going to go ahead. Here's a picture of the final product here, right? Looks pretty sweet. Um, here's a picture of it with tabs in place. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, as long as they're labeled, it, it's easy. So, I mean, imagine when you open up the canopy, you're going to be exposed to the avionics, which I always thought was a slightly small design flaw uh, where this is I'll be able to look directly down and see all of it so if I ever have to work on anything uh, the ground for it will be easily accessible okay so <clears throat> all I'm really doing is mounting it with a couple of um, number three bolts and oh no I'm sorry uh, number four bolts and washers and nuts that's it I thought about doing nut plates. I can I can still do nut plates. I mean I, I'm I'm kind of I'm happy with the position, and it only cost me a couple of small holes into the into the sub panel. If I needed to move it, I could. Uh, I'm not, so I'm kind of happy with that. Now let's see side news and questions. I really like doing this stuff live because I can I can answer up to date questions. A uh, question from a, a new buddy, Mr. Sinclair, was asking about fluting um, ribs with wing stuff because he's on the rudder. Fluting is important, right? It's not only important because you need to get the holes lined up. Is you need to get the holes lined up without them having any kind of pre-loaded stress on them, right? When people talk about load, what they really talk about is stress, right? Stress, shear, torque, all kinds of different stresses, and you want your tabs to want to be exactly where the holes are. Sometimes that's hard to do, especially in vans, because uh, you know sliding tight tight skins over places you you're pushing ribs around so it's it's real easy just to act you'll know, you will be thinking god this isn't lining up now it was probably lining up if you if you fluted everything correctly and you saw it line up then you're good but so yes uh very important um let's see any other questions paul hasn't asked me any questions paul now's your chance now that I'm doing this live, we can do it every we can we can answer live questions. Uh, other news: we just surpassed 900 subscribers, which that's that is very funny to me. So hi everybody. Uh, so yeah, and and, uh, and there you go. And there's the G3X with the forest of tabs all being used. How sweet is it? How sweet it is. So uh, in the next video, we've got something extra special. So I will see you soon.